Okay, let's bring us in as Brian Todd. He's got a, a closer look at these various locations in Egypt. That's right, Wolf. And, you know, with these images, uh, it's hard to imagine Tahrir Square under normal circumstances. We're going to bring that home for you. This is Cairo, as you know. We're going to kind of zoom into a satellite picture of Tahrir Square here that we got uh, and first show you the overview of what Tahrir Square looks like on a normal day. You see the normal traffic patterns. That was before all That's of right. That's before all of this. Now, take a look at this. We got an overlay here. This is from uh, Digital Globe. Look at this. This is Tahrir Square today, a satellite photograph. Unbelievable difference. Look at the starkness. We'll go back. Tahrir Square on a normal day. Tahrir Square today. In these massive demonstrations, this historic day, you see the tent city, you see the wall-to-wall -wall people, a real transformation. Some of the images, of course, that we got are uh, just astounding of people celebrating in the streets. Uh, this, this really historic transitional day, that's from earlier, just a couple of hours ago. And again, this is the uh, satellite image of that. Now, um, what we have to show you is uh, so a couple of other flashpoints in the city, Wolf. And we're going to try to stop this map here and get to that. Um, going to go to the TV station. And let's see, we can, we can kind of put it up here. Uh, there it is. Okay, the TV station, it's just a couple of blocks away from Tahrir Square right here. And um, this is a state-run right, TV. That's right, the state-run TV station with some incredible images from there, too. Again, you know, wall-to-wall -wall people in these sections of town uh, seemingly, you can't pack them in any further than this, but that's uh, the scene that we uh, saw. And then we're going to go to the uh, uh, we're going to go to the presidential palace really quickly here, and show you a this it's, this is about six miles away from Tahrir Square, and show you a, a, a digital image, a satellite photo of what that's like. About ten kilometers. That's right. Zooming in on a satellite photo of the presidential palace, and again the scene of some great demonstrations here and some really historic footage. Um, Again, this, you know, was just, early, this was earlier right, in the day when thousands of people, when, when people thought Mubarak was there. That's right. And, you know, seemingly you can't pack anyone else in here. And again, just, you know, th they have not seen scenes like this ever in this area of town. So let's uh, go to that, and then we'll go to Sharm el Sheikh. Wolf, what, you have some experience with that. Well, Sharm el Sheikh is. Right. We believe that's where where uh, Mubarak is now. He's got a villa there in Sharm el Sheikh, at the right. southernmost tip of Sinai on the Red Sea. He's only 235 miles away from Cairo if he's here. The scene of many summits. This is a picture of a, kind of an overview of the city here. Beautiful city on the Red Sea. They've had many summits here, some of which you've attended. Wolf, this is uh, Mubarak a couple of years ago with uh, Ehud Barak, the Israeli Defense Minister, Omar Suleiman, and Tantawi, the uh, the uh, top military official. Another summit here. This is him with uh, Netanyahu, Hillary Clinton, and Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian leader. And uh, this, you remember this attack in 2005? Well, was a attack. major story, right? Killed 88 people. So a lot of news made there over the years. Beautiful city. And you remember going here. It's yeah, just a stunning it's, it's place. It's a beautiful place. Great uh, uh, scuba diving, if you will. That's right. Uh, it's a great resort. Nice hotels. Uh, so I recommend it highly and if you want to visit Egypt. Uh, Sharm el-Sheikh is One a nice place. We don't know for sure that he's there, Mubarak, but we believe he's there.